Good eve, good morning, and welcome back to The Operative, No One Lives Forever, starring the indomitable Volpine Kate Archer. We've got our coffee on. And all is well. Where were we? Reporting back to base, I believe. Let's see what they have in store. Go! No, the post-traumatic stress is setting in. He's staring at her eyes. Agent Kate Archer, please report to the war room. Thank you. Oh, oh God, that is... Depressingly prissy. Agent Goodman's death is a terrible blow. No question about it. But although this mission was costly, it may well prove to have been worth the price. I wish I could believe that. You mustn't lose sight of our objectives. The sacrifice of any or all of us is a small price to pay to preserve the lives we will save if we are successful. Tom knew the risks. So did Bruno. So do you. Knowing the risks doesn't really prepare you for losing a partner. It certainly doesn't prepare you for losing two. Nothing can prepare you. The loss of an operative is never expected and is always tragic. But as horrible as it sounds... But he was kind of a jerk. We weren't supposed to like him, right? It's a dangerous job. Perhaps Mr. Smith is right. Perhaps I'm not up to the task. Rubbish. You've performed remarkably well under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. I confess I was somewhat skeptical at first, but that was before I grasped the magnitude of the situation. In my entire tenure as a field operative, I never once faced a crisis this formidable, and certainly can't say I would have done so with the aplomb and competence you've demonstrated thus far. I didn't realize you were a field operative. Indeed, for 14 years. After the war, I found I was having a hard time adjusting to civilian life. Fortunately, an old acquaintance of mine was recruiting for Unity and happened to ring me one afternoon. I've never looked back. Sort of difficult to imagine, isn't it? Not at all. You flatter me. Anyhow, let's have no more self-pity. What do you say? Yes, sir. So before you served on the committee, you and Bruno were colleagues. And friends. Did you ever work together on an and assignment? And lovers. Frequently. We lost track of how many times we'd saved each other's lives. And you still believe he was capable of treason? In my heart? No. Intellectually? I don't quite know what to believe. No question about it. He was always a steadfast, resourceful fellow. But the history books are full of patriots turned traitors. There's no telling what a man is capable of, given the appropriate temptations. I know what I believe. I admire your conviction, and I pray you're right. Ah, Mr. Smith, I hope you have some good news. Good news would be that we hadn't lost another valuable agent on this mission. What news do we have? Well, our analysis of Agent Archer's photographs is complete. There are a blurry mess and nothing but duck faces on, on Facebook. Whereabouts. I think we can classify that as good news. As I said, it's all relative. This harm situation isn't the only crisis in the world, and we're fast running out of competent field agents. Then suppose you get to the point and tell us what we know about Dr. Schenker so we can go fetch him. It's somewhat speculative at this point, but it's possible that harm is keeping him at a secret underground research facility in North America. We don't know the exact location of this facility, but thanks to the files Archer photographed, we know it exists, apparently in the vicinity of a lumberyard in western Washington state. It seems the site is being supplied by an American Railways passenger train. Records and research has dug up evidence of various trains making unscheduled stops in the area over the past three weeks. At regular intervals? Indeed. Probably to drop off supplies and personnel. We're certain that at least one American Railways engineer is on the harm payroll, although several individuals may be involved. We're looking into it. What's my assignment? Phase one will be to apprehend the engineer or engineers in question so that we can interrogate them. Once you're aboard the train... How exactly am I to get aboard? Borrow tickets. We'll smuggle you into the galley car. Well, that's Lovely. needlessly elaborate. Anyhow, 
Once you're aboard, you will meet with a contact who will tell you precisely whom you'll need to detain. It is safe to presume that other harmed personnel will be aboard the train, so subtlety is advisable. Needless to say, seizing the conspirators will prevent the train from making its stop, so you'll have to be sure to detrain at the appropriate time. Well, after falling out of an airplane, I suppose jumping off a moving train can't be that bad. That won't be necessary. Once your objectives are complete, you must head for the caboose and detach it when you're near the lumberyard. We'll have an agent in place to switch the track and reroute you to an unused depot behind the lumberyard. This area is not likely to be heavily guarded, so you shouldn't have much difficulty getting through. If all goes according to plan, you will rendezvous with another undercover agent who will, we hope, have information that should help you locate the underground... Thanks, base. Captain Gamefax. Then I grab Dr. Schenker and get the hell out. Precisely. We'll have a helicopter nearby awaiting your signal. Your flight departs in one hour, so if you need to stop by the toy shop, now's the time. Understood. Thank you for putting things in perspective for me, sir. I promise you I will do everything in my power to destroy harm. Archer? Sir? Don't let anger cloud your judgment. Revenge is an understandable impulse, but it is also a contemptible one. Our job is not to avenge, but to protect. I can't just shut off my feelings like a tap. No, but you can bridle them and use them to fuel your resolve. Destroy harm, but do it to save innocent lives, not to retaliate for those already lost. The moment you give in to wrath, you become as reprehensible as the monsters were hunting. Clearly, we are all called upon to take lies from time to time, but we must neither relish it nor agonize over it. It is a duty, plain and simple. Not a pleasant one, but often a necessary one. I'll do my best, sir. I have absolute confidence that you will. There was one more thing, although I'm not sure how important it is. According to one of the documents Archer photographed, it seems the Baron's wife changed her surname some time ago. Really? So her maiden name isn't McLean? It's Farnsworth. Felicity Farnsworth. Farnsworth! Are you quite sure? Positive. Do you know of her? Aye, that I do. Dimpferdump! When she was eight years old, her father, a wealthy banker, was involved in a nasty public scandal involving unmentionable acts with a twelve-year-old boy. How dreadful. Mr. Farnsworth committed suicide shortly thereafter. Felicity and her mother, by all accounts of vapid socialite, were ruthlessly ostracized by their peers. Guilt by association, presumably. Furthermore, rather than inheriting the fortune she expected, Mrs. Farnsworth discovered that her late husband had left the family in inescapable debt. She went quite mad. Several days after being institutionalized, she hung herself. My word, that poor child. Felicity fell into the custody of an elderly aunt whose lifestyle was apparently rather more severe than she was accustomed to. About a year later, the aunt took a fatal tumble down the stairs. Must have been pregnant. No mention was ever made. What happened to the girl? She ended up with a foster family where she remained until she was 14. One night she went out her bedroom window and was never seen again. Or at least no one recognized her. Astonishing. Where did you learn so much about her? I studied her. Come again? I believe I first read about her in a gossip column. I was intrigued by the similarities in our background, so I dug deeper. What similarities? Well, we both fathers. came from wealthy families. We were both orphaned at a relatively early age. Our fathers both killed themselves, although for very different reasons. We were both plunged into undesirable circumstances and resorted to rather desperate measures to survive. I found it quite uncanny at the time, although in retrospect, I think we had less in common than I once believed. Adversity is the truest test of character. The strong are strengthened by it, the weak made weaker. It sounds like this Baroness didn't have the wherewithal to cope with her misfortunes. It's a common trend among terrorists and bullies that they imagine themselves persecuted by fate and therefore feel justified in harming others. You're frothing. Sorry, I get carried away. She's involved somehow. The Baroness? Upon what unimpeachable evidence are you basing that supposition? I just have a feeling. Ah, then the case is as good as closed. Drum kick. I don't expect you to believe me, but I'll count on you to say something smug if I'm right. It's virtually guaranteed. I'm not smug. Acerbic, perhaps, maybe even sardonic, but not smug. 
Okay, sure. Whatever you need to tell yourself. I have to agree with her, Smith. Don't either of you have work to do? Aye, sir. Off I go. Good luck. What you got for me, Santa? Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Always. We have a new perfume for you. I'll this probably one never use it. Scorcher. It's a concentrated acid gas with a jelly base to make it sticky. You definitely don't want to get it on you. <laughs> no, you really don't. Here's a spiffy new device. Thank make God. Dealing with security cameras less of an ordeal. When fastened to a camera, it generates a still image from the camera's viewpoint that should convince the camera that sounds that he's excellent. Indeed. Ugh. Riding a motorcycle is easier than you might suspect. To get on, simply walk up and. you can say it's like riding a bike. I'm sorry. What? It is actually rather hard. Nothing in the way of analog control. Now if I hit one of these trees, I'm pretty sure if I recall this correctly, you more or less explode. Excellent. Excellent. Indeed. If Dr. Schenker is indeed being held in this secret underground research facility in North America, it's a safe bet he won't be there for long once Harm figures out what you're up to. Get inside the train. Contact Unity Agent. Apprehend Harm Agent. Retreat to the caboose to disconnect it. Locate the entrance to Underground Laboratory. Locate Dr. Shankar. Escape the facility with Dr. Shankar. All in a day's work. So... The question is... Still no bloody silence for it. Mm. Uh, nope. Because we will take... My eternal favorite, the Hampton. I'm not 100% sure why there's two options here, unless one is sort of bugged out for what was. We'll get the... No. What if I bring two? What sort of silliness will that un unfold? Yep, 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 yep. And we're away! Have you seen anything suspicious? Like what? There's a spy aboard this train. Are you sure? I am. How do you know? I have my sources. That doesn't really answer my question. Let's just say I heard it from a little birdie that someone's been poking around, nosing for information about our obliging engineer friend. Oh. We don't want that information falling into the wrong hands, do we? Well, I haven't seen any spies. If you do, let me know. We don't tolerate spies. I'll keep an eye out. See that you do. Moron. <laughs> Did you say something? What? I could have sworn I just heard you call me a Mormon. Why would I call you a Mormon? No idea. Do you have something against Mormons? No. Then why are we having this conversation? I don't know. See you later then. Count on it. Alright. I hope you're happy. Game is afoot. Why? It 
Because I'm not. What's wrong? If we had taken a plane, we would have been there yesterday morning. Instead, we're still stuck in this sardine. You know how I feel about airplanes. And you know Tickets, how please. I feel about long, boring train rides because we do this oh, every time we go anywhere. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Next time you can fly an Do I actually need to have his ticket? Oh, God, I can't remember. Oh, I guess I need to hide from him. We can do this. Next time you can fly an all-right train. You mean travel Tickets, separately? Please. Why not? You, you don't like traveling with me? Sure, but I want you to be happy. You're just trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Honey, calm down. You probably just want to have an affair with some train riding hostage. Don't we all? Are they both here? Where's that whole mission fail business? Progress. Progress. Uh, contact Unity Agent. I suppose this might have given us enough time for good old Conductor to have buggered off. Sound thrilling. Tickets, please. No oh, shit. Close the bloody door. Tickets, please. Why is this door not closing? God damn it. Thank God. Tickets, please. How far down that caboose is he? Up. Please. Anyone want to join the 50 centimeters off the ground club? No. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Okay. Oh, British magazine. I hear we got us a spy on this train. They say that every week. Yeah, but this time there was some guy asking around about the engineers that's working for us. They say that every week, too. Well, it makes me nervous. Everything makes you nervous. Pipe down, will ya? Trying to admire the scenery. Well, maybe you'd be less nervous if you'd do your job instead of staring out the window. Yeah, well, maybe you'd be less nervous if you were lying in a hole in the ground six feet under. Don't threaten me. Or what? I'll tell Roscoe. Go ahead. So, where they scoot off to is the question. Oh, fantastic. Could have used that about, oh, two minutes ago. Person with a gun. Jeez. All right, let's keep this a rolling. Is he 
just you or is it hot in here? Not again. Either way, I think you need a cold shower. Kind of half we've come up with these code phrases anyway. I know what you mean. What do you have for me? Looks like the assistant engineer has been acting alone. The crew compartments are all the way at the front of the train. You should be able to find him there since his shift doesn't start for another half hour. Perfect. All right, up the other end, I guess. Good thing we've killed everyone between there and here. Jim, please come right away. Your father has dug up a oleander bushes in, front, in the front yard and replaced them with uh, petunias. These bushes have been part of the house for 20 years. This early retirement idea is a disaster. Love, mother. Don't mind corpses. Doesn't ask to check the ticket, but if I'm holding it, doesn't actually ask. Typical. So. Our engineer, hey? Well, hello. Who are you? No, please, don't hurt me! That should keep you out of trouble for a spell. Oop. Music tells me he's already on the way. Sizzling like steak. Modern fools. Epilepsy. A silent killer. Bloody goats. I guess I'm gonna try to shoot my way all the way through here. Train riding hussies on the Oriental Express. Yeah. Later, suckers. Is that a caboose? Yup. What do you think it's doing out here? Not sure. Should we report it? Probably. Maybe we should check it out first. Okay. Shot by some sort of unknown assailant here. Oh well. <laughs> Bling. Cranston, please remove these boards by next Tuesday so the executive director's private coach will be able to enter the secret base. Thanks. Bob. I have a crowbar, but it'll work. 
you want to see something to walk all the way down here? Blimey. I'll tell you what, wide gauge on these train tracks. This is where they do the, you now there's a train coming from the other direction thing, right? So far. Oh, is there anyone there? Oh uh, no. There is definitely no one there. It would not be worthwhile use of your time to investigate. Oh, come on. Oh, nope. Just a villain door. Oh, what a way to go. Looks like a uh, lumber mill. Is that a Unity agent? Real blood tour to force here. Trains, lumber mills. Chases with a graveyard or two. Fuck, villains! I'm sure no one would fit down there. It's also blocked off, I guess. A jumping puzzle. It's gotta be right. More lives senselessly wasted. Jumping our new hot wheels. It's really hard to control. Whoop. Love that instant deceleration. Yes, you are magic. Her memo to Security Officer Cranston from Assistant to the Executive Director Volkov. Dr. Schrenker's productivity has been very disappointing. If the good doctor is unwilling to cooperate, the Executive Director may be forced to institute a motivational regimen. 
Note, that would apply to you as well as Dr. Shenka. Tanks. Oh, shit. These guys are unity if they've got tank calendars. There seems to be a distance where they're just invincible. Must be in the name of high drama. to turn. Well, this only ends one way. Well, you... <laughs> Not exactly the most satisfying thing, but... Hey, we're down the goon. Cause everyone loves grass corridors Running people down Sucks to be a pedestrian Quite a land for a big old secret base Golly. Oh, let's just keep on rolling, I think. Wait, there's a giant secret rock here. What's going on there? Let's get around the back here and investigate further. seemed to have gone poorly for him. <laughs> well, hello. I do wonder if there's any more ammunition for our grenade launcher somewhere. Doesn't look like it. That's alright, we use up this AK ammo I'll never use. Bouncy. Oh well, mission accomplished. Did I put that code breaker? Zero 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 one zero 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 two zero 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 three. Superman Kate, fly, fly. Whoosh. Oh, we're in the thick of it now. Stay alert. There's been some trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? Everyone's dead. Spy trouble. How do you know? That's just what they told me. I'd like to see a spy try to get in here. Well, make sure you're ready just in case one does. Oh, well. Let's see what else is in store. And the secret underground not-at-all cliche villain base! 